Hey there, this is Lynette Proach, a solutions consultant over at TriMech. In today's video, I want to talk about creating coincident reference planes in SolidWorks. So the first thing we're going to talk about is actually just how do we create a reference plane uh, and then how does it work, right? So what do we need to do to be able to get these reference planes inserted? So the reference plane feature is going to be underneath our features tab and then underneath this reference geometry button, right? And we have plane. We could also search for plane using our search command or using the S key if you're in a newer version of SOLIDWORKS, but let's just select plane and let's take a look at what SOLIDWORKS is now asking us for. So the plane feature needs references. The way that this is going to work is SOLIDWORKS is going to insert a plane depending on what types of references we give it. Now these references can be a lot of different things. They can be points, right? So the points like the edge of this, it could be an actual edge. It can be a whole face. It can be a cylindrical face. It could also be things on a sketch, right? So I can insert a 2D sketch and draw a line and that could be my reference point. So the reference plane uh, command is really great because you can ha have it insert a plane really wherever you need it to. The tricky part about it is just kind of understanding what type of plane that you need, right? So if I know I want a coincident plane, I need to know what kind of references to give SOLIDWORKS. Now it doesn't only do coincidence planes, of course we have a lot of different other types of planes that we're going to explore in a couple uh, videos in the future. But in this video, we're really going to just focus in and talk about coincident. So creating a coincident plane, we can actually do this two different ways. We can either give SOLIDWORKS three different points for a reference, and it'll insert a plane at each of those, intersecting each of those points, or we can grab an edge and a point. So we can do three references or we can do two references. Let's first take a look at how we can do with three points. So if I select this point, you can see as soon as I start grabbing references, it's going to start making some assumptions of what I want. My uh, second point and a third point. All right, we can see three different vertexes. SOLIDWORKS is going to go in and it's going to connect, you know, a plane between all three uh, different points that I just grabbed. Then I hit OK and I have a reference plane. Right, so pretty easy for the first type of plane. You choose three points, it's going to intersect those three points. Now let's take a look at the second way. So I'm just going to hide this plane. And the second way to add a coincidence plane is if we go into reference geometry, plane. And now for this one, again, I need a point and I need an edge. So instead of having all three, you don't always need three. Most of them actually only need two. If I grab, say, this edge, and then I grab a point, we can see that it is inter or, uh, intersecting a plane between that edge and this point. I can change this to be, you know, wherever I need it to be. All right, if we have it up there, it's just going to be the flat top. Or maybe I need it to go all the way to this bottom. All right, and if I hit OK, I now have a reference, uh, reference plane that is coincident between this edge and this bottom point. Let me turn this back on. We can see two different types of coincident planes that we can add again, using the reference plane command. All right, so just like that, we're able to easily create reference planes using coincident references, right? And we can get those uh, planes in to be wherever we need to be. So we can create sketches on them or use them as end conditions. Whatever we need to do with these planes, we now have the ability to do it. So if you have any questions about this or any other uh, types of planes, always feel free to reach out to us at TriMech. We are here to help. Uh, and I hope everybody has a great day.